Welcome to Back Testing with Keo. I'm your host, Keo. <laughs> I'm just gonna I'm gonna shuffle this up. And then we're gonna spin the wheel and we're gonna get started with the back. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know. I don't know who I am anymore. But uh you know Euro US dollar. This thing really likes to just choose these pairs that are <coughs> super common pay um <clears throat> Super commonplace. Excuse me. I, 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 I'm drowning on land. So May 9th, we got Monday, I think. Here he was Dollar Monday. Oh, FXCM? No, 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 sir. No. Awanda. Let's see. So let's go May 9th. Remove drawings just in case. And we'll go over here. Let's see. Um, oh, wait. We want to go over here to the, the Friday so we can see what the market structure and stuff look like. Okay. So we're bearish, but we bounce at the bottom. I still say we run this long wick, but it looks like we're pushing up a little bit. Um, but lots of rejection down here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to mark this out just in case. We get down here um and then i really want to know i mean that's asian previous low so we should be okay but we're, we're bearish honestly bearish we bounce off of this supply zone we have this zone of supply up here so we'll see what happens looks like there was a lot of news on the sick oh yeah this was last friday so uh and non-farm right so what happened um anyways let's get to that uh 22 candle think on the 8th 18 and 22 so we're getting close to run this wick if we run this wick I might take a liquidity grab but if I'm if I'm there I might take a buy for for liquidity grab I'm like I don't know for some reason my edge today I'm just keep I just I'm just rambling and stuff um so let's go to the 15 minute and we're gonna click down to our 415 candle so that we can Start looking for trades. 345. And we're at the 415 candle. Um, I wish I could go back up, but it looks like we're making kind of like this head and shoulders pattern. Uh, so what I want to do is I want to mark out this zone here. Looks like when we reverse, we reverse from this area. So honestly, we probably can make a case to run up to one of these top areas of supply but you know what we're gonna do we're gonna vibe with the market today i want to try the five minute um and we're going from 4 30 to 11 uh 11 a.m so um i just want to vibe with the five minute and see where that gets us so I'm, I'm curious like i always have it in the back of my mind maybe like not using the 15 minutes since i am scalping as much as i can so let's see so on the five minute we do have another i mean it is a head and shoulders for sure for sure um there's still some missing price up here on this one and we're still pushing up a little bit so we just want to be wary of that but we're bullish right now on the five minute for sure we just push back we pushed above this uh short term high and then this is our 15 minute area here so let's see uh let's go down to the one minute one minute i'd say that we're trying to go bearish but uh we left some liquidity here might be taken out so let's see what we got if i get another bearish candle i might enter but um we'll see just to in, in anticipation of the drop down here okay we're still pushing up we're at the asia previous high um pushing back up i think this is like a five minute uh yeah i think oh yeah it is five i mean i think there's probably even more information if we get on the two up to the two or three minute but we'll see what happens so that's the left shoulder that's a head that'd be a right shoulder for me uh, but i don't like the formation because it's too tight that's that's a better head so um 
broke past the short term uh, low here. So I think I'm going to sell this um, because we just filled in the missing price for the most part. And I'll just sell it to one to three. And I'll break even if it looks weird. It looked weird too late. <laughs> it looked weird too late. I was like, uh oh, we're already break even. <laughs> so this is a this is a negative one. Should have vibed with the five minute, like I said I was going to do. <laughs> okay. So let me actually get my back test helper set up because I, I do want to look at the um, higher time frame. We got one more. Let's look at that 15 minute. So we just cleared a 15 minute wick. That's what that reaction was from. Um, I want to look at the five minute. So five minute, we have a, a zone here down to here. And our missing price is somewhere in there. So um, let's see if that missing price does peekaboo. Let me get another buy. So I will take a buy from here. I don't like buying like this in these zones, but we're, we're trying to vibe with the five minute today. You see, we already lost by going against it. So let's see what, we, what happens. I honestly don't like this because you want whenever you're taking trades of these areas. Let me let me actually re, let me do my fib uh, template to illustrate my point. You really want to just you want to only like buy like this when it's under the 50 percent. And this is like retail pricing, I guess. Right. So there's a chance that it could not work. But in this case, it does. So we had the confluence of that <laughs> missing price being filled in. And that's our plus three. So if we're on the four. Let me go back and see if we did fill in that missing price with that move. I have a hunch that we did. Yeah, see, we filled it in for the most part. So that worked out for us. Um, and we'll just keep vibing with that five minute. All right, so it's getting a little messy in here. Let's delete some lines. And we'll wait for our uh, zones. Um, so we're at 509. Let's see if we can see something on the five minute. Just a big wick. Lots of stuff over there. Not really much to write home about yet. Uh, oh, yes. Let me check where we're at here. So if we're vibing with the five minute, then we have an area of missing price here. And we have basically this area. Oh, shoot. This area here. We'll see what happens. That's a nice big spike, though. Maybe we come back down to the missing price and get a continuation. Oh, I. <laughs> whoops. <laughs> I'm gonna. I'm gonna not enter here. It was too late, so it's fine. I like this um, for like a, another buy, but it's kind of up in the air. Right, I don't, let's keep going. I wanna buy in the sky, like, right? Cause we could have bought here as a right shoulder entry. See if we get a rejection from this wick. Might be nice to start entering uh, cells soon. I like the double rejection from within this wick. I wanna see one more red candle. Okay. So let's see if we can get a push back up with that uh, red candle. I should have entered on that double rejection, looks like. But that was a, this was a five minute bounce. I'm getting like, <laughs> I'm confusing myself because I'm, I'm kind of flipping the script with this uh, five minute thing. So let's see, let's see what the 15 minute looks like now. And we did have a lot of rejection here. We didn't quite make it to our zone. We had this one here that we we ignored. Um, so we probably should have marked that out. But um, yeah. 
looks like we have a little missing price here from the 15 minute uh, if I go to the five minute now um, that's kind of non-existent but this looks like a head and shoulders to me on the five so let's mark this out as a right shoulder and let's see if we get another red candle out of this maybe I'll enter okay so this is kind of a crazy entry but I think that we do go a little bit lower based just based on the structure of the candles we are we, we basically made like a, a so we had the top here and then it failed to break the high twice and then we we dumped down we came back up we tested off of this uh right shoulder that we made so now we have a head and shoulders kind of looks like a mario potted plant thing pipe plant thing and then uh yeah i think we run this wick we run this here maybe fill in some of this missing price but ultimately i'm feeling like we start dropping just a little bit and I could be completely wrong but let's see what happens and there we go very nice vibing with this five minute and 15 minute <laughs> okay so now we are bouncing this okay, we're at the Asian previous high I want to look at the 15 minute nice big thick bearish candle I think we continue running lower uh, possibly down to our yellow zone here let's go to a five minute and so five minute our only zone of supply that we have is up here um, we're in a zone of demand right now so we may see some kind of bounce maybe we can get back up there and get some kind of nice entry we have um, liquidity here that needs to be run and we have missing price let's see there's a gap right here so we can mark this out here and thing to note about missing price is that it doesn't have to get all the way down there like it can go halfway through like you can just take your fib a lot of the market works in 50 percent, so you can just take your fib there and it might just hit 50 percent of that but nonetheless that's planning very far in ahead in the future we do have missing price here that I want to mark out and we have missing price here in addition to our overall zone of supply which is up here so now let's go down here and see what happens at these missing price areas because we are at the Asian previous high um, but we are massively bearish I like this as a double top we didn't break the high here and I mean we didn't break the low and then we made a engulfing candle so to me this could run up just a little bit I don't know how much I would be able to get out of it it's very risky um, I almost think I shouldn't take this trade but if we're if our bias is that we're gonna run back up to here then um, we could try it I'd rather wait and see what's happening at these missing price areas but if it runs you know what I can do I can break even and we will save ourselves a trade if it doesn't run then we were right all along anyways and we were right all along anyway. <laughs> so we know the difference between a good trade and a bad trade but if we take bad trades we lose money you know what I'm saying looks like it's going anyways but there's the missing price that we just tapped on um, big bearish engulfing I want to see what happens um, I want to see if we can get a pullback. Uh, sometimes we can get a pullback to like these areas in here. These see-through like demand, like demand support term resistance type of thing. Demand supply, uh, demand turn supply. <laughs> okay, we got a test off of it, but within that same candle. So there we go. So we hit the missing price down here, or we hit the liquidity point down here. We didn't run it though. It's very important to note we didn't run it we got close it's an equal low so I would say that if this like pops up I would I want to take a massive sell because usually equals equal lows are pretty good for targeting um, once you're far away from them or far enough away that's a nice W pattern um, I like that this was bouncing in this like hammer candle type of thing um, I, yeah, there we go. So we ran low. 
I'm, I'm really missing a lot of trades here. I stopped vibing with the five minute like I was earlier, so maybe I should start doing that. Like, look, if we were if we were paying attention, we filled this in on the five minute. I mean, I marked it out. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> you know, um, that's okay. Running that liquidity, I would assume we get back down to here now. Um, oh yeah, in five minute though, we left behind this zone. Let's take this, it's already here. This zone of uh, supply. Lots of testing off of this. If we get a bearish engulfing though, I'll probably enter. These are crazy candles. I like that this didn't break any highs. And I like this engulf this, even though there's a long wick which usually shows exhaustion. What I'm going to do is I'm gonna put my stop loss here. It's a little bit higher than I like. And we're going to go one to three down to the uh, zone. Okay, it's stalling. I'm going to break even this trade. I don't like that. Let's put the uh, stop loss right here. Okay, popping back up a little bit. Let's look at the 15 minute. I know I'm in the trade already, but I just want to see what the candles are looking like. So we are at the top of that missing price, getting a reaction. Let me see if I can just mark out that 100%. And there you go, right? Put it back to that pink color. So you can see, like, <laughs> at top of that missing price, even the top of the missing price, it just gets a reaction. Let's see what happens. Lots of chop though. Okay, we're going in there. All right, so I think we hit our trade. One to three. And so now we're heading off of our 15 minute zone. I do want to back up so that we don't see the next candle, but I also want to see where we're at when we hit there. So I go to the 15 minute. What that looks like is we just fill in this missing price and we start bouncing. If I go to the five minute, that looks like this. We have our areas here, which were like kind of tested. I'm gonna actually put this like this to en encompass the body of this bottom candle. And yeah, we're just gonna keep playing it out. All right, so let's go back to that candle. There we go. Um, I don't wanna enter anything here just yet. That is very enticing for a buy, but we haven't broken any short term highs. So for the reversals, you just want to make sure that you start breaking some of these levels, right? Because if you don't break some of these levels, what price can do is it can just make another bearish engulfing to the opposite side. Just want to break some levels and wait for a return. So now we're coming back for a return. Let me let me actually look at the five minute candle. So the five minute candle, even from this point, is a bullish engulfing, which is nice. Um, I really like that, possibly for a buy, especially from this 15 minute area. So let's see, if we go back to this candle, if we get a bullish engulfing from here, I might actually take the trade. I don't like the formation of that. Uh, I probably should have entered here, but it's, it just seemed too risky, so I'm not going to do it yet. The reason I don't like it was because it I, I don't like these two part ones. I want enough momentum to push me above the previous high, even though it's probably going to just bounce from here and then continue to go up. OK, so I do like this formation. Uh, however, I don't like where where it's at. I would have rather had that closer to this candle so I could get like a better stop, because what can happen is it can hit this area right here and then just completely fall off the face of the earth again. So let's see. Let me go back and see what we're dealing with on 5 and the 15. Okay, so that's just a test off of this. Um, and on the 15, we have another doji. 
I'm gonna mark this out. Oops, what did I do with that? Oh, there we go. Okay, that's what happened. So let's mark this out and make it yellow. And we'll keep going. She's just going to keep going, ain't she? If I was vibing with that five minute, maybe I could have got some. Nah, she just, she's just making like, basically ain't no excitement until possibly a wick low breaks here, here. <laughs> Excuse me. So that would probably be what? Here and here. No excitement. At the New York previous low, starting to stall out a bit, but still bullish. Looking like a porcupine. <laughs> I might actually enter this, but what I think is going to happen is uh, it's going to do like a quick pop up and then down. I don't know if it'll make it up here, but <laughs> I do want to enter. Let's see. Look at this crazy stalling. 8.30 right now? Is it what the news just happened? Is like, oh, I don't know. <laughs> I honestly think this actually just gets run right here. Let me see where we're at. Let me pick up one candle and see what it looks like on the five minute. Probably some dojis. And then if that next one is red, it'll probably like look like a another like doji, red doji here. Hmm. <laughs> it could either go up or go down. <laughs> um so let's let's get into the minutia of this because this is very fun for me. Um, <laughs> I I, never, I don't think I've done this in a, in a very long time. Let's see if we can analyze this. So we came up into here and we had this range to this range, and then we went we made another higher low. Went popped up to this one, then made a lower low, but then we broke the high yep we broke the high and then this doesn't matter okay so we broke the high again high or low have not broken this high up until here so we that's that's that was our range um and then this low is never broken and this low was broken here right but then we popped up one and then two and then now we're popping up again. So honestly, to me, this looks like it's about to be a bullish breakout. I, this is just a for fun trade. I mean, whatever. We're, we're back testing. We're having some fun. I want to see if we can get our one to three. Oh, man. Don't stall there. Don't stall there, baby. There we go. Very nice. Very, oh my gosh, that was beautiful. That was beautiful. Just reading that, reading those ranges, reading those micro ranges. Oh my gosh, that was wonderful. <laughs> I don't know if I'd be able to do that in real life under like <laughs> pressure, but that, should, that was pretty cool. <laughs> um, okay, let's focus up. <laughs> I'm just going to let the market reset for a second. Okay. I need to see the next 15 minute candle, but it's so far away. This is in our uh, top 15 minute zone, no? Hydrophilian missing price. I mean, it's, it's one candle away from the last one, so I think I can just look. Um, let's see. I think this gets run. But I want to see possibly from this missing price area. Let's go to the five minute. Um, yeah, I would be targeting this area or possibly where we're bouncing at now. For a, a buy. Yep. 
didn't fill that in. Okay, well, we didn't get all the way down, so we're, we're, we're rapidly approaching 11. I don't know if I should, like, try to catch a cell. I should be vibing. Is he vibing with that five? Vibing? Um, now we're in our main area of supply. Um, we could probably refine it to higher, but I really just, this, this pink area is a symbol. And what it means is look for a quasi head and shoulder, whatever, in here. That's what it means. Look for a market shift in here. That's what the symbol is. Okay, so we're, we're kind of topping out a little bit. Starting to break some lows. Very slowly, though. What's this slow burn? Oh, man. It's crazy. There's no volatility in this market at all. Uh, let's go to five minute. So we do have a uh, missing price here. Uh, we are at the London previous high right now. And if I go to the 15 minute, we do have our new zone of supply here. So we just need to see a pullback. Or we can slowly melt off the face of the earth here at missing price. Got two bullish and uh, you get a nice bullish engulfing. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to enter like this, even though it's kind of risky. But this is kind of our this is where we thought it would be bouncing from. Stop loss under this area over here because I don't have I don't have any idea like based off of one or two candles where what's going to happen here. So it's it's very risky, but we know that we do get reactions from missing price, and we are waiting for this. So let's see what happens. All right, so it did dip lower, which is fine. Mainly because we're we're ahead for the session. <laughs> uh, getting closer to the eleven o'clock though. Never win trades after ten. So we broke that short term, and now we're bouncing. If I get another bullish engulfing, I'll enter, but looks like we did not. Um, let's see what time it is. 10.37. I wanted to see the five-minute candles, uh, but it's okay. Let's keep going. It's 10.39. We can watch it. We can look at it here. So now we left by, behind this zone of supply here. Just mark that out as pank. Still have missing price down here that we can target. Um, weird retest, risky to enter, but it might work just to, given how the market's pushing. I kind of like that. We ran the highs here and then we we're kind of testing off of here. Um, okay. Okay, let me look at the, uh, I mean, it's it's the 11 o'clock candle now. But I do want to see if there's another trade in here to be had. I honestly think we still found this missing price, so I might, I might take the entry. Six pips on Euro US is pretty far, though. I'll break even this if it runs. Okay, looks like we got taken out, and that's okay. So overall, even with our four losses, let's see, we got three, six, nine, twelve, minus four, so eight, eight R. Not bad. Um, probably should have stopped trading after ten. <laughs> I'd probably be working right now, anyways. But you know, say. But uh, this was nice. I wish that I left this running. That'd have been pretty cool. Very nice uh, compression type breakout there, but uh, I, I'm actually most proud of this trade. Uh, out of all the trades I've done this week, even though I didn't take this one in real life because I don't trade Euro US, I'm very proud of this. But anyways, nice 8R session, um, longer than most because of the micro analysis I was doing here, but 
Thanks for watching.